Well, let's talk about these videos. Okay. Are, are you telling me you think it is appropriate? Here is the cell phone video where Bill tells his grandson to check the tires. Let's take a look at this. Put it on her stomach, honey, not on her butt. You are just being a pain in the butt, Mr. Monkey Butt. Look, the bear's moving. Oh, the bear just had a baby barat. Look, the baby come out of her butt. Wow, look at that big butt. That's a baby's butt. Holy cow, look at that butt. Check your tires. I want to check your tires. Let's check your air in your tires. Give it a good uh, squeeze with your fingers. Okay, oh, here comes the little rascal. She's going to check her tires. Check the tires. Here, check his tires. Okay, Bill, let me, let me tell you what forensics people look at in here. In, in this tape, you reference the butt seven times, and then you focus your camera on the child's crotch. Um, that's the problem with that video in court. That's why your attorney says, this is a problem. Now, the video is what it is. It, it's subject to interpretation. I, I agree with that. But th that is what it is. Do you not think in retrospect that that is subject to interpretation as being woefully inappropriate? No, sir, Dr. Phil. I was referring to the big bear having a baby, uh, and I do believe that with the, the cell phone that I had, I was too close, and I was actually trying to see when I had the phone uh, to see if his new shoes that I just bought him was to fit him properly and still on his feet. And that's what I was focused on, his feet, but the way it was paused and stopped and whatever it was, or however it comes across, was strictly because I was checking the boy's shoes and the slippers, I mean, to make sure they were still on his feet because he was roughhousing on the bed. And, and when I referred to the derriere, I was referring to the baby coming out of the big bear. And that's exactly what the context of that whole video was. Um, why were you referring to sexy butt to your grandson? Well, I call all my, yeah, I don't have an answer for that other than the song. He sings the, that I know of, or when he was with me and living with us at the house, he sang three songs. One was You Are My Sunshine. Number two was the Celine Dion with the Titanic. And then the, the one that you are, uh, I'm too sexy for my shirt. I'm too sexy for my body. And that was the song him and his little brother were singing at the time. That was the current new uh, phrase that we were, I, me and the girls and everybody was using. And I had nothing to hide. It was innocent, maybe not appropriate, but it was absolutely not a lustful meaner or demeanor in any manner whatsoever, Dr. Phil.